We're back. My, uh... Woo! Yay, television. My first guest was a cast member on Saturday Night Live. Now you can see him on the Showtime series, Weeds. Please welcome very funny guy, Mr. Kevin Nealon. You stole that from no. Howie Mandel. What is no. that? No. So, you know, oh, okay, don't. That's weird. Brothers, we Stop do. it. It's getting aggressive. All right. <laughs> hey, take it easy. All right, sorry. I love it when a guest tells me to settle down. All right, well, It's welcome. a pleasure, Mr. O'Brien, to be on your program. <laughs> wow. You're I've very well behaved tonight. I grew up watching you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. You're, you're, you're what? You're 18 years 23. old. 23. 23. Sorry. Yeah. Well, welcome 20. to the show. Thank you very much. You and I have known each other for a long time. We worked together back in the day. Yeah. What day was that? Wednesday. Wednesday, that's uh, right. And, um, no, 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 back at Saturday Night Live, we've known that's each other right. a long yeah, time. You're a uh, we're, you know, and, and I've long, I think you're a hilarious guy. Thank you very uh, much. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. But I understand, congratulations, Your Honor, this is very exciting. You're uh, expecting a baby. That's right, I am. Yeah, that's great. Right. <laughs> that's actually my wife. Your wife, I'm yeah. sorry. Yes, and um, your wife is expecting, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we don't want to know what the sex of the baby's going to be. Because, you don't? Yeah, that's. Uh, it's like the last surprise in life, I think. Sure. You know, not knowing what it's going to so be. So you're not going to find out the sex. Find out the sex. Also, we don't want to know when it's due. <laughs> I think that'll be a great surprise. It'll be very sure. exciting. You never, you have no idea then. It's yeah. like musical chairs, yeah. except you know, instead of the music stopping, the water breaks, <laughs> and then you got to find the closest hospital. That's great. You know? That I mean, sounds that's, exciting. That's exciting. Now, have you thought about names? A lot of couples. Uh, clearly, my parents didn't put much thought into it, but uh, <laughs> come on in. <laughs> you know, uh, but um, what is your middle name? Christopher. I'm Conan Christopher O'Brien. C C O. C C O B. Oh, so the O is almost like another middle name. Yeah, kind of, yeah. An apostrophe B. Yeah, yeah. Or the big B. I'm Conan Christopher Oliver Brian. And we just rammed the O into the Brian. I made that up. That was weird. They uh, were. You were drinking. Yeah, I they was drinking, drinking too. We've all drinking. been drinking, yeah. I'm going to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you, do that. Okay. you can't do that. You don't have the authority. That's uh, okay. But have you thought about names? Um, I have thought about names, and I've thought very hard about names. Mm -hmm. We both have. And I'm thinking, because I'm going to be an older dad, yeah. um, I'd like to come up with a name that's easy to pronounce, like a one-syllable thing, like if I'm on my deathbed. You want a name that's easy to pronounce on your deathbed? My last breath, you know, uh -huh. where it's like a, something really easy to say, like, uh, Al. <laughs> <laughs> or Cher. <laughs> Cher. But right. not, I thought, not Hal, though. Yeah. Because Hal sounds too close to... Help. Right, right. And I don't want any confusion there. Help. You put a lot of thought into this. But you know, it really doesn't matter what you name your kid because I think people kind of create their own names for them. You know, they'll they'll call them what they want. You yeah. Know? Like you get this too, right? You get, hey chief, hey sport. Yeah. In Boston, a lot of people go like, hey there, chief. Yeah. yeah. Hey boss. Hey I guess, boss. I hate boss because you know, hey boss, how you doing, boss? What's up, boss? And I start thinking, I get confused. I start thinking, wait a minute, do I have a company I don't know about? <laughs> Is this guy my employee? <laughs> yeah. And, and if he is, why is he chatting and not working? Why is he standing around talking? Uh -huh. And then I start thinking, I might have to fire this guy. <laughs> I don't even know what he does. I don't even know what I do. Now, listen, I've, I, I, I'm, I've met your wife. Your wife is uh, lovely. Lovely. I love your wife. Thank you. Uh, how is she doing? Is she feeling all right? She's feeling great. But, you know, pregnancy is a very trying time sometimes, and you have to be sensitive to their needs. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you have to make sacrifices. Okay. And um, you have to be sensitive. I, I had an opportunity to go to Lake Tahoe to do a golf tournament last uh, a couple months ago, and um, it was and a it great. It was one of those thing. great deals where great they pay deal. for everything. They pay for it all, and you get a nice gift bag. You've gotten gift bags before. Let's say I have. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so um, my wife had. Uh, don't cross me tonight. <laughs> don't I'm sorry. Cross me tonight. I'm sorry. I'll behave. I've made a lot of sacrifices. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So my wife had read somewhere that in your, uh, you know, in this particular stage of the pregnancy that you cannot travel to any place that's 8,000 feet or above. Mm -hmm. And Lake Tahoe is right at 8,000 feet. And I suggested to her, well, can't we go and can't you crouch for the three days? <laughs> just keep it just below 8,000. Just 8, keep 000, low, yeah. Like, you know, maybe 7,999 feet. Sure, something like that. So that was insensitive. Now, have you... 
I think telling your pregnant wife we're going and you're crouching, that's not good. What about, have you, uh, the ultrasound? Have you had the ultrasound yet? Because that's an incredible experience. Did you do an ultrasound? Uh, I didn't need one. But, you didn't uh, need one. No, my wife had an ultrasound, yeah. Yeah, did you yeah. go? I did go, yeah. It's fun, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's exciting. To, to it's very really exciting. Yeah. It's, it's very overwhelming. I mean, here you are. It's, the technician is there. I call her the ultrasoundist. Because mm -hmm. I don't know what they're called, but she's the ultrasoundist. Yeah. And um, she's got the, uh, my wife's, you know, in, on the uh, bed and the stirrups, yeah. you know, and uh, she's got the hospital gown on. And mm -hmm. the ultrasoundist has a wand that looks something like this. Yeah. And in one hand, she's got that, and the other, she's monitoring it. And she, you know, puts it under the gown, mm -hmm. and she's yes. working it around. Yeah. And I'm sitting across the room watching all this thinking, this is probably the closest I've ever come to a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No! Oh, you're the worst guy. Good stuff. Oh, man. Good stuff. I like connecting with you. It's not often that we get to connect. <laughs> it's not often that you and I really get to... Yeah. I mean, it's always like small talk. Hey, what's up, you know? Sure, sure. Now, listen, I want to take a little break, just for a second. Uh, but I understand that we have a little treat when we come back. You've taken up a little hobby recently. Yes, Tell us I about have. It. During my uh, hiatus from weeds, I've... Uh, I've you just I've touched come my leg. Up. <laughs> I did touch it. Closest to three, so, yeah. <laughs> Yet there's only two of us here. Uh, <laughs> you can come out, Benny. Uh... <laughs> Yes, uh, during the uh, uh, you know hiatus, uh, I used to love going down to the boardwalk and watching these artists sketch people. Mm -hmm. You've seen them, right? It takes only sure. two minutes. They ask a lot of questions. The next thing you know, the picture's finished. Right. And, uh, and I always admired that. So I took some art uh, classes, and I'm happy with the progress I've been making. So you can sketch people now? I, I'm gonna, yeah, I'd like to sketch you when we come back. I heard about this. Uh, when we come back, Kevin's going to sketch me. So stick around. More with Kevin Neal. <laughs> Sitting, uh, sitting here, uh, this is Mr. Uh, Kevin Neal, and this is unusual. You're going to sketch me. That's right, Conan. And you, um, you've learned this. These are like the people on the boardwalk that yeah, sketch. Yeah, I've, I've watched these people growing up, like a lot of us have. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just amusing. They ask a lot of questions, and the next yeah. thing you know, the picture's finished. So okay. I've been taking some art classes. I'm very excited with the progress I've been making, Terrific. and, uh, and okay. I appreciate you sitting for me like and this. I, I, I look okay here? This is a good position you look great. Okay. okay, here we go. Oh, we go. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to do yes. my best now, Conan. Okay, here we go. Okay, so Conan, you out here on vacation? No, I'm hosting a television show, yeah. and you're one of the guests. Yeah, you yeah. like it out here? Uh, yeah, I've been living here uh -huh. a long time. Yeah, yeah. you go to school? Uh, no, I've been a talk show host for about 13 years. Yeah, and, uh, you like you like school? <laughs> if I were in school, I'm sure I'd be enjoying it. But uh, right, I'm just about finished here. Yeah, I've run into a <laughs> run into a little bit of a problem. I yeah. should have started up a little bit higher. <laughs> so um, if you okay. don't mind, okay, let me just start yeah. up again just a little bit. <laughs> All right. All right. I appreciate you helping me out here. Yeah. All right, so Coney, you out here on vacation? <laughs> No, I'm a talk show host, and I've been here uh -huh. in New York in yeah. the studio for 13 years. And you like it out here? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. I've you been go out to here. school? Uh, no, I don't go to school. Uh -huh. no, I've okay. been in school for a long time. Okay, now I'll still, because the nose is the hardest feature to okay. draw. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, it's coming along nicely here, Conan. Okay, That's I got great. the nose. Now give me a nice smile now there, Conan. Here we go. Good, nice, relaxed smile. Good, got it. <laughs> That's a better smile. That's a better smile. That's a better uh -huh. smile. Yeah, I can tell this is going to be good. Yeah. All right, Conan, what is your favorite sport? Uh, baseball. All right, hockey it is. Mm -hmm. Hockey it is. <laughs> got to sign it before I got to like to sign it. All, All right. right, now let me get the eyes. The eyes are the hardest feature to get. You have okay. beautiful gray, hazel, blue, green. They're blue. blue. They're blue quite eyes. clearly blue, blue, yeah. All right, I'll put the light just a little bit. Okay. There's a little eye. I got a little eye. I can't get the I'm not good with the eyes. I can't get the eyes very well. All right, I'll put the light just over a little bit. There's the, I cannot get the eyes. Uh, I'll get them, but do me a favor. Right. Wear the sunglasses. I want to cover up my mistakes. Okay. Then, we'll make it a funny picture. Put it on the tip of your nose. We'll make okay. it funny. Like this, like, kind of like that? Oh, not that funny. Get it out there. <laughs> I don't know how they have a lot. Oh, you're the best, Conan. You're really helpful here. Yeah. All right, now let me see. I mean, this side? Yeah. yeah, one ear, and you got two ears? Let me say yes. Yeah, yeah. Give him a nice hand, ladies and gentlemen. Terrific. I gave it a shot, Tony. It did That's not come nice. out like I had hoped. Wow, you're but absolutely I, terrible. I, I, I want you to... I want you to have this. I want you to have that, Conan. Be careful. Do not get that on your clothes. It does not come off. <laughs> 
You horrible, horrible man. Uh, Kevin's gonna be at the Tampa Bay Performing Arts Center December 15th and the Parker Playhouse in Fort Lauderdale on December 16th. Season three of Weeds airs on Showtime uh, next summer. That's correct. You're man. a scholar and a gentleman. Thank you. Kevin Neal and everybody. Angela Kinsey, stick around.